We say glory to God, to your name. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We say how much we love you. Right where we are. Just lift those hands again. Give God glory right there where you are.
Sister James Ellen McBride. Sister Carolyn Bell. And we are glad that God has answered prayer and that we have Deacon Carol back with us today. We have Sister Alice Snow with us today. We have Reverend, I mean, Brother <laughs> Cox here with us today. And Reverend Longmire with us today. It is an example that God answers prayer. And let us also keep in prayer Sister Doretha Bradley. Our scripture will be read today by Deacon Scott, and our prayer will be given by Deacon Edwards. Well, to be here this morning, we know we're not worthy. Yeah. 
grace and mercy. Yes, yes, yes. They continue to feed our kids.
That's one of them songs you got to show enough groove on. Yeah. You know, it's quite funny, you know. People call the service, I'm telling you something. I, I don't like being bored. When I come to church, I come to have some church. That means I'm going to cry a little bit. I'm going to sing a little bit. I'm going to shout a little bit. And then I'm going to give my duties a little bit more of my tithes and offering. But all in all, I'm going to keep God centered in everything that I do. Let me tell you something. Everybody is, is in doubt and disbelief about what's going on. Let me just tell you right now, just in case uh, you thought for a moment uh, that you're just at any other place, I want you to take a look at your life and pinch yourself. Because at this point, if you can still feel that pinch, that means God is still real. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's still real. And he is ever present with us right in this day of time. So, uh, uh, real quickly, I'm so excited I couldn't sleep. I, I was sleeping, bopping up and down last night. I've been going through uh, twisting turns in the bed all week. So, Harris has been pretty much putting up with that all week. Because the Lord has been talking. Now, this thing I told her was, she'd give me a house, I can get always on the side, she don't have to worry about that. <laughs> she just called me on a dial-up line, and we'll be all right. But no, no, I'm, I'm grateful <laughs> for her being here, and uh, I'm big excited, y'all. I don't know, I don't know how your excitement is. I, I'm telling you, I expect God to do way beyond my expectations. So when you see me smiling, dancing, jumping, shouting, that kind of net, just, you know, excuse the past because that's just the way he is. The joy of the Lord is a strength. Yeah. And so if the joy of the Lord is a strength, then that should be somewhere in the crowd, a connection that says he's my strength as well. Yeah. Because I understand where I am now would not be headed out to for the Lord. Being on my side, so I don't, I don't second chance anything that the Lord wants to do. Lord, have your way. Do what you will. Do what you want. I decrease so that you might increase. Have your way now. In the name of Jesus, we put the Romans, Romans chapter five. That's all right. Romans chapter five. Real quick, real, real. I want. I don't want to call it a half snack, but uh, it is a great meal to deal from. So just in case uh, you don't think so, we're going to crack this egg open and let the yolk flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. crack this over with it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, real quickly, uh, Romans chapter 5, verse 1. Through verses 5. It says, And therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace of God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Second verse says, And by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Third verse says, And not only so, but we glory. In tribulations, also knowing that tribulations work in patience, verse 4, and the patience in experience, and experience hope, verse 5, and hope make it not a shame, cause the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us now, now by uh, a way of, of a rendition of what we would call a subject. Uh, I want you to wave at your neighbor and tell him, say, neighbor, neighbor. rejoice in your sufferings. That's it. Y'all may be seated. Rejoice in your sufferings. Uh, I want to call this a retarded message because retarded it goes against the grain of what we are accustomed to during the time of suffering. Yeah. It's easy to lay weight on what you go through with, and it is also easy to bear the pain of what you go through. Right. It's easy to be subject to the feel of where you are. It is easy to digress and back up 
when situations occur in our life that is uh, against uh, the positive measure of life. We have a negative vibe in a bad situation. Yeah. I don't have to tell you how bad the news are. All you got to do is just take a look around and look at the news. I don't tell you, I don't have to tell you how bad the job situation is. Just look at the numbers that are presented daily as about to how many people are being laid off the job or they are without work because of this uh, new season of what we would call pandemic. Yeah. Uh, I don't have to tell you how bad the situation is in the homes doing domestic violence because you see it either in the newspaper or somebody being shot and killed and you find that out uh, uh, during an hour of the newscast. Why? Because the news is ordained to do what the news do and that's to give you what they have. See, what they have, they give you because that's all they have. They are limited in their sources of what they give. So most of the times you wind up picking up a lot of negative, a lot of negative issues in a negative area, in a negative way. So when those negative ways and negative areas come up in your life, you're trying to, to fade away from them. But every time you look around, they're always appearing directly in your face. You don't have to tell anybody about the arguments that you had because the years and years have passed by and the argument still dwells on and on and on and, and not only do your argument carry for your children but your children's children, your children's children, children, the children on down the line of the children of the children of the children of the first generation of the argument of the children that had it before because the children still remember what the adults got mad about because the children still keep it lingering on. I remember when your mom and your your daddy did this to my mom and my daddy, and I hate you for it right now. Now, see, that's how that's how the art of negativity comes into flow. Why? Because it's a continuation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a continuation, you know. Sickness is a continuation. Yeah. In the history of a family, you have sugar diabetes that goes on and on because they didn't know what it was when great grandma and great granddaddy had it. They didn't quite figure it out when it came down to the genes of the generations of our grandmothers. And you didn't know what it was, how it came down when it came down to our granddaddies. We didn't know how it was until it came down to our mothers and fathers. That's when we could recognize the issue and try to work on the seeing what we could do to salvage the situation, to make our bodies feel better or to make our bodies function uh, fluently. As a matter of fact, back in the old days, they told me there used to thing called castle. Yes. And it is the nastiest stuff you can ever take. Well, you take castle. My God! <laughs> you know, it makes your breath hurt. That's how bad it is. <laughs> but they said that it does the job for you. My mom used to rub, you know, this cream called uh, uh, Canfo Foniki, whatever you call that. Canfo, whatever, Canfo, that's what it is. <laughs> Have mercy on you. When you get that strong smell off your chest, and you go up in your nose, and then everybody knock whatever sense you had in your out. But when you came to, when you woke up that next morning, everything was clear, clean. You could smell the air. You could smell when somebody smoked a, a, a ham outside on the grill. You could, you, you could live by smell everything that come through because that stuff came and worked on your body. But, 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 but in today's time, I, I look at the situation the what we face, and I, I, I look at this word rejoice. Yeah. And when it's dealing with, with Romans 5, verse uh, uh, 1 through verse 5, uh, it, it rejoice gives, to give joy. It means to give joy, to be glad, to be, uh, to, to have joy, to feel joy, a great delight, a great that life is good to be delightful about things that go on in your life. It's, it's good to feel feel joy. You know, you know, you feel joy when you get a present at Christmas time. Now, I don't know what it is about Christmas, but everybody get get uh, teetotal happy and spunky because 
because now they get all for gift and they want to see what kind of gift you're going to give them back, you know. They want to make sure that the gift you gave them don't outmatch their gift. But when I really looked at it, and, and I used to tell my, my children and my wife and this, I used to didn't like Christmas because I never celebrated. Oh no, the pastor didn't celebrate Christmas. I was one of those hardball egg, uh, 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 go to church seven days a week. Yeah, nearby 24 hours a day, if you can say that. But we was at church all the time. We didn't celebrate Christmas because we thought it was a fad. It, it was it was people serving an idol God. But then, but then I had a pastor, a preacher, pull me aside and say, son, let me teach you a little something about Christmas. First and foremost, you gotta understand you can't go off what you used to be around. Say because of what it is that you are around could fade away sooner than what you came into. He said, but first and foremost, Christmas is not about gifts. Christmas is never about gifts. He said the Christmas was about the birth of Christ. A gift no man could give. Yeah, we give these little presents and gifts, but it doesn't amount to the gift of Christ. See, with the gift of Christ, he came supernaturally, born of a virgin, a, a, a Mary, who, 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 who was deemed the right woman for the right season, at the right time, in the right area, not under the uh, uh, great conditions, but guess what? It was in the uh, conditions where only God can get the glory in all situations and see what you Look at how, at how uh, the gift giving was given. You look at the joy and the elation that that came with Christ coming on the scene and, yeah. and I, I, I said something last week it took 14 generations for Jesus to get here but when he got here he made the difference yeah. and, 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 and when I look at him making the difference I, not only do I look at the joy but then I look at sufferings that are the su suffering the state of suffering experience suffering experience Pain. Anybody know what it's really feeling like when you have the little pain that goes on? It's agonizing. It, 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 when you have pain, it, 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 it is very disturbing. When you have pain, I, 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 I'm gonna share with y'all a little something. I, I, when I had wisdom too, because I don't have no more. But my wisdom too, when they got too big for my mouth, uh, uh, they started to ache. Listen, let me tell you something. Ain't nothing like a toothache. You can say all of man evil about but you can say how bad your migraines hurt and how bad your knee hurt. Listen, there ain't no pain like a nerve pain when a tooth pain kicks in your body because almost you would never want to take your whole side of your face off. <laughs> oh yeah, that's how it was for me. I'm trying to tell you. And and and, and the thing I, 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 I like about it is when a dentist gets ready to pull your teeth, it's a pain reliever. Because when he pulled his wheel through my mouth, I felt satisfied. I never like, jumped out the chair before he got you cleaning me up. I said, Doc, you gotta clean me up. I'm good. I'm good. Let me go. I'm, I'm ready. Well, put the gun in my head. I said, Oh, okay, I'm sorry. And I stuck it in now. But but the thing about it is, my pain was relief. I felt joy at the relief of my pain. So so this this is this is why we come to to the point of where Paul is talking. He says, therefore being justified by faith, being justified, being being justified, having justice because of who I believe in, then having peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. I got peace through Jesus Christ. He he brings about a peace that's a passing all understanding. See, there's no name given unto men uh, by which any name can be saved among the name of Jesus. Jesus is the solid of the solitude of the name that we should call on when we need something. Yeah. Now, there are many times I call on mom and daddy, I call on my wife, I call on my, my children sometimes, I call on my brothers, I call, I call on some of my sisters that's connected to me, but, but then even at some point, they don't pick up their phone. Wow. At some point, they don't pay attention, they, they, not, they might look at the caller ID uh -huh. <laughs> and not hang up. That could be the case. 
But there are sometimes, even when they don't pick up at that point, I lean on the name of Jesus. Because only he can satisfy my situation. Only, only he can bring me through all manner of problems, all manner of situations. Only he can be the deciding factor of my relief. He is my rollings. He is my collar law. He is my hand. He is my teeth. He is, he is everything I need and more. Paul opens up and assures us peace. Romans, Romans chapter 5. He talks about it, him being our peace. He is our peace. He is our peace when times of trouble occurs. He is our peace when, when, when there's death all around. Colossians 3 and, and, and 15 says, And let the peace of God rule in your hearts to which the which also ye are called in one body and be ye thankful. Yeah. Listen, 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 listen. We are called to peace in one body. There's many churches, but all of us are part of one body. Yeah. There are many different places of worship, but we're all called into one body. If you know who Jesus is, you're called into one body for one purpose, and that is to be thankful. Wow. See, when you are thankful in one body, you understand your transition from problem to praise. See, yeah. see, from problem to praise, that is the process that's called prayer. When you pray, you let God have his way in the midst of where you are going. So when you have the situations that appear in your life, it seems as if you don't have any kind of way of getting a connection. All you got to do is just call on the name of Jesus and watch him work. That's all you got to do. Just watch him work. You ain't got to do nothing else. You ain't got to have no seance. You ain't got to worry about going to, to, to the tarot card reader. You don't have to go about doing soothsaying there. You have to get all that collective trash. Just call on Jesus. See, and even when you call on Jesus, you don't have to have an appointment. See, there are some days I found out now that a lot of doctors put appointments off for two or three months later. I don't know. I don't know. I don't need a doctor that's going to pull me off for two or three days later. I need the doctor that's going to answer right away. See, while he's trying to figure out if he's going to help me out and my insurance pay his bills, he need to have his butt in the office answering the phone call when I call on the doctor. But even when they don't be in the doctor's office waiting with the nurse to see me, I call on the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. So he's the root out of the dry ground. I call on God Almighty when there is no way that he made me. He makes a way. I call on him. When, when, when it seems like I got a lampshade over my face and I can't see where I'm going, I call on the name of Jesus. I need him every day, every minute, every hour, every second. I need him. I don't know about everybody else. I don't know how your relationship is with the Lord. But if you know like I know that you need the Lord, uh, you ought to be able to wait toward heaven and tell God, I need you now in this time. I need you during this pandemic. I need you during the hellacious time of my life. I need you. I can't get along without you. When you, when you look, when you look here, when you look at the object of suffering, and, and I, 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 I want to I wanna do like I want to do, but I'm not going to do it the way I want to do I got to do it the way the Lord will be to do it. I, I, I'm looking at the fact that even when we call on him, we are justified. We, we are justified. We are freed. We are freed. We are justified. Romans 3, 24. It says that being justified freely by the grace of through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. We are justified. We are justified through the redemption. We are redeemed. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. are bought back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you ever pawn something and, and, and you want your possessions 
back from the pawn shop. You go and reclaim. You pay the price, the justified price to reclaim your property from being pawned. And, and, and the way it's being pawned and, and, and sit up in their little shops and their little offices. I thought about Jesus. He, see, see, we, this, this thing about Jesus is going to be real heavy today because, because now I have granted access. I, I have a connection with him because he not only gave me justification, but he redeemed me. Yeah. He, 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 he pulled me from where I was. I, I, I was sinking, and, 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 and in my words, I was sinking, stinking, deep in sin. I was in the position of the lost. I was in, in the position of not being found. And I like this song that talk, talks about amazing grace, how, how, how sweet the sound is. Same a wretch like me. I once was lost. I was lost, y'all. Excuse me. I was, I was lost. You know, sometimes when you're lost, you can't be seen. You know, you know when, when you're lost, see, you, you, you can't be seen, but sometimes you can be heard. See, when you're lost, you know, sometimes people have been lost in this whole pandemic because they didn't know which way they was going to turn, Reverend. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they've been lost so good, Reverend. I'm trying to tell you that they didn't know which way they were going to be able to make ends meet. But I'm telling you, once you get in the winding chain of Christ Jesus, he, he, he comes in and he, he makes the difference. Y'all, y'all, excuse me, I feel a little hot today. I, I'm, I'm feeling my giddy up today. No, no, when, 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 when he comes in and he does the work, he does it so, 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 and so it becomes full circle. See, he don't have to do anything. Now, now we have to do the Lord, but he don't have to do for us. And, and, and when he comes in and, and do a work for us, he, he takes us out of our element. See, and see that's, why, that's why the Bible says rejoice. Uh, in the Lord, uh, always and again, I say rich, 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 but I'm still going to rejoice. I, I, I'm not thinking about heaven and heaven. I'm, I'm still going to rejoice because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Look at the fact that He kept me. He, 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 he's in a, He got inside of me. I, I, I remember somebody said that I, I came to Jesus as I was. I was weary, wounded, and sad, but I found in Him a, a resting place, a resting place, a place of peace, a place where I can just go and just lay down. I don't have to worry about what's wrong with the I'm going to bed tonight. I don't have to worry about how situations is going to turn out because God is on my side. Uh, as a matter of fact, Psalm 18 said, said that the Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? I don't have to fear nothing. Well, because God is with me. He, he, he's with me. He walks with me. He, he talks with me. He tells me I'm his own. I don't have to worry about anything. He healed my backbone. He healed my help. He healed my redeemer. He healed my... <laughs> Sorry. Yes, Sorry. I told y'all I was a little crazy today. And I'm going to show you how crazy the law can make you when you're justified. See, when you're justified, you understand that Jesus died once and for all. He died. Yeah. Once yeah. and for once. One time. Thank you, Lord. That's it. He died one time. Thank you. That's it. Hebrews 7, 26 and 27 says here, he says, for such a high priest became us. He came down just like us. Yeah. Thank you. Now he wasn't born like us, but he became who we were. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder the Bible says that God is touched with the feeling of our infirmities. He became as we were. But he was the perfect and the final sacrifice. See, it used to be back in the old days where, where, where they had people had to go to the temple, you know, to, 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 to put to put their uh, uh, lambs on the altar. And in order for the person to really be clean, they had to make sure 
that the priest went in and gave, they gave the priest a lamb, an innocent lamb, uh, for a burnt offering unto God. But see, it is at this point where you realize that Jesus was the perfect lamb. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He became our crookedness yeah. to deliver us from out of our crookedness. Yeah. He became us as a crooked stick right. to make us straight with God. Right. To make us have a relationship with him. And let me tell you something. I heard somebody say this one time and he just as right as they could be every day with Jesus. Yeah. It's sweeter than a day before. But real, real quick, real quick, I'm, I'm almost through, I promise you, I'm almost through, and I'm about ready to bust right now because I'm telling you, for God is real. Yeah. When, when, when we look at it, it said, moreover, let us also be full of joy. Joy. Rejoice. Rejoice. Be full of joy. Lord. Yeah, yeah, what? what, what we got we to learn how to be full of joy. Stop letting situations get the best of you. Anyhow. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me do this. Let, let, me, let, me, let me do this. I was trying to wait to do this. Uh, 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 when you look at the fact of uh, uh, rejoicing, the fact that the matter still remains is how do you rejoice? Uh, how, how, how did you really how do you really give God praise at the end of where you are? Uh, Romans uh, 5 and 4 says, but be patient and patience experience and experience hope. Now, this verse says, and endurance fortitude develops maturity yeah. of character. Approved faith tried integrity. Hold on. Faith integrity. Faith integrity. Tried faith integrity. Listen to me good. Tried faith integrity that means my faith doesn't waver my faith is not shaken yeah. my faith is not stirred the thing I like about God is he allowed people to do to us to see where our character is at that point Amen. let me show you a real good character process when you look at a certain situation and you know in your heart you have forgiven somebody real good yeah. but for some reason they like to raise their ignorant head up sometimes <laughs> and they want to say whatever they want to say cause just cause you help them out they think you're going to stay being a Christian and keep taking that junk off them <laughs> But what you need to do is turn around and tell the tell same devil that I've been here before. See, you don't belong here, but I've been here before. Yeah. I was in this situation with you, but the situation I was in with you is not the same situation no more. That's how you have built your character. See, yeah. see, 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 when you're forgiven, uh, your forgiveness is challenged because it, 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 it sees how much hurt it can bring up. It sees how much pain you can bring up. But then when you ignite that faith inside of you and say to yourself that I have forgiven this brother or this sister, now I don't have to look back no more. See, when you look back, you revert back. So, so, so if you're going to revert back, you might as well stay back there where it is. Yeah. That's why I had the time, had the time. That's why the Bible says the Lord put our seed, sins in the seed of forgetfulness. Yeah. If he forgets the good God Almighty, he won't forget me. And when it comes down to people running you down and talking about what you used to do and how you used to do, you got to tell them, please, 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 by all matter. If that's what you believe, go right ahead. But right about now, I'm ready to jump for joy because now I realize that I have forgiven you because you're here and I ain't kicked you out no more. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The art of forgiveness. 
God is wide open. See, this is a this is a widespread thing. See, see, see. When people understand and realize your maturity in God, they'll have to back up off you. As a matter of fact, the word of the Lord says it like this: that the power of life and death is in the tongue. So what you say, that's what it's gonna be. My faith is mature, my joy is stirred up where I used to be. I'm not there anymore. I find delight in the fact that I'm able to treat you good while you try to treat me bad. I'm, I'm able to, to look at the fact of where I used to get angry and toss shells over and flip tables over and, and want to take my hands and sprinkle somebody. I look at the fact now I don't have to do that. Just just hold my peace. Let the Lord fight. Fight my battle. Hold, hold my peace. I, I, I'm about to get here and start swinging there. Just hold, hold, hold my peace. So, man, just help me, Lord. Help me. Hold my peace, Lord. I, I, I need you to come through like this. Oh, hold, hold, hold your peace. God is going to fight for you. All you got to do is just stand still. That's all you got to do. Just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. No, 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 no. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. James, the writer, uh, says it here in James 1. He says to count it all joy. See, people don't like to count. You like to count your money. You like to count your situations. You like to count your calamities. But the Bible says to count it all joy. <laughs> the fact that my joy comes running over, all I need just one thing is that number one, he woke me up. Number two, he woke me up. Number, number three, he woke me up. Number, number four, see, I'm, my jaw kind of is running over because I'm, I'm jumping because he woke me up. I'm, I'm not dead. I'm, I'm able. I'm able to stand. I'm able to jump. I'm, I'm able to leave because he woke me up this morning. And, and when he wakes you up, your jaw comes to run over you. You ought to be able to run and tell somebody, get them by the hand and tell them, say, neighbor, God woke me up this morning. I, I feel like sometimes I get a little weary sometimes, but then when I raise up from where I am, I, I tell God, thank you, I'm still able to move around. I, I, I'm still able to see. I'm, I'm still able to have victory over the enemy. He, he couldn't keep me down too long. He couldn't hold me up too long. I got a right to give him glory. I got a right to give him praise. I, anybody want to give God praise? Come on, come on. Just wave at somebody and tell them real quick. Say, neighbor, my jaw comes running over. I, I gotta get him all the glory. I gotta get him all the praise. Why? Why? Because he said that well then to be praised. And I go sit silent and by and watch all the praise. But when I think of his goodness and all that is up for me, my soul cries out, God and Lulia, thank God for saving me. I get joy. Oh, God. 
during this pandemic, if, if God has kept you, you ought to be somewhere praying and thanking God. Hey, he didn't have to keep us. He did not have to keep us. But beloved, I'm so glad he did. Because now we are a testimony to the fact that it is no secret what God can do, what he's done for others, he can do it for you. That's why I, I, I had to give him glory. I had to give him every chance I get. I get, the, I get joy coming into the house of worship, expecting God to do more. Because, see, God is not an average God. He is God Almighty. Yeah. He's never been average. Now, we have made him average because that's just our level. But God was never average. He allowed his son Jesus to come, born, live, and then die. <laughs> but he didn't say that. Because early that third day morning, he got up with all power. Anybody know that he got up with all power? Just wait a minute.